Welcome to Osaka, Japan, where they have lots of things to do and even more things to eat. Now join me while we explore a local food market in the middle of Osaka. This is the other side of the market. It's fifteen hundred. The fifteen dollars for one. Fifteen for one? Wow. One doesn't work. For fifty okay. okay. Thank you. That's we got tempura. Hello. Hi. How are you? Is it all tempura? Yeah. Tempura? Yeah. This is squid? This is squid? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I've never. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Are those chopsticks? Yeah. Oh, wow. I wanted to get some chopsticks. Thank you. Arigato. They have a whole chopstick store. This is crazy. Hello. Man, I'm so white, just say hello. Just say konnichiwa. It costs $45 for these chops. Crazy if that is real. Got the umbrellas here. Thirty thousand. That's three hundred dollars for those chopsticks. Well, those are cool. It's like a, like a Harry Potter one. Gen tax going on over here. We're selling chopsticks for like thirty dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. What is that? What is that? This one. Oh no, I don't no sorry, I don't I don't I just wanna know what it is. Uh, what is it exactly? Is it from an animal or fish? Fish? Oh okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Longer than my arm. That's crazy. That's a big ass shrimp. Woo. 
Sa Street Street Nice tuna. Very nice. Medium chutoru, Okay. This is the more premium? More uh, better? Better? Okay. Whoa, look at these. Might get some of those later. It is so busy right now. Holy. Pokemon Twinkies, basically. That's cool, like a minion ones. Guys, there is just. This is just one of many markets. There's just too much to do here. Like, I want to eat everything, but I can't because I'll get full eventually. Those sweet potatoes look good, though. All these flowers. You gotta be careful if you're trying to pay for something that's more premium. I'm noticing that, like, from what I've seen online to like what it actually looks like, it doesn't look the same. So they might be trying to upsell you, you know, the guy gen tax. I mean, it's a foreigner tax, basically. Yeah, things are just a little bit. They price them high, but they don't give you the best quality. In some areas, not all of them. Yeah, because he said it was A5 beef, but. A5 Wagyu beef, I didn't taste. It was it was very tender, not gonna lie, but I never had Wagyu before, so I have a feeling it wasn't the most premium. Cause that just tastes like a above average piece of meat. Well, I have no idea where I'm going. Man, I could walk around all day. I wanna get some uh, some fruit. Bring some fruit home. This is A5? A5. A5, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I just I just asked that guy if it was A5. Did not look A5 at all. It looked like it was like A2. Like like not that much marbling. Yeah, I think they just, you know, they want to make the sale because people want A5. They want the best, right? Hello, can you How much for one? No, but how much? Seven dollars for one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. I don't know if there's like import fees, but it was like seven dollars for one apple. Oh, I got some fruit over here. So the apple was seven dollars, and this one's two dollars. It was like a thirty-second walk away, and it's less than half the price. <clears throat> I'll go get some bananas and stuff. This is five dollars for multiple. It's like premium apples. What's going on? Okay, I 
if they take Visa because I don't think I have enough money on me. Matcha shot for a dollar. I'm gonna try that. Oh. Okay. Take visa? Visa, okay. Yeah. And a shopping bag, you must shopping bag. Yes, yes. One. Yes, one, thank you. Thank you. You can just put it in the in there. Thank you. So I got some groceries, it costs around $16. But also, a little market inflation here, but it's okay. I've been dying for some fruits and veggies because I have been eating unhealthy all week. Uh, yeah, now I'm lost. Everywhere looks the same. Well, look at this cute little shop they got here. Hello, Kenichua. I don't know how to get home. Let's figure this out. Airbnb, where are you? We are on our way back home. Got about a nine minute walk. If I didn't have the uh, the eSIM on my phone or any sort of data, I'd be so screwed. So if you're um, if you're traveling at all outside of your original country and you need data, there's an app called Aerolo. I'm not sponsored, by the way, but just honestly, it's a sick app. It just allows you to get data literally almost anywhere in the world. As long as you have like a newer smartphone, you should be fine. But yeah, it allowed me to like be able to like know where I'm going on my own. And if I didn't have that, I'd 
probably start panicking and freak out. You know, there's always Wi-Fi and stuff, but then trying to find the Wi-Fi. Some places won't let you use their Wi-Fi, so. So I just wanted to show you this little building. I like how small the buildings are. Small and compact. Look at the door. I, just little things like that just make me uh, make me happy. I don't know what it is. Little engineering, architectural differences that they have. Yeah, it's just a door. I thought it was cool. Where are we going? So this video is uh, coming to an end. But if you would like more of these videos, let me know. Share with your friends and family. Say, hey, I want to go here. Let's go check this out. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Doesn't matter. If you want to see more of these, support the channel. You know, this is my full-time gig. I want to be able to, like, document the world through my photography and through these videos. And I want to be able to share it with you guys. For some people who aren't able to, also for some people who, like, don't know if they should take the risk to do it because it might be scary or whatever it is. But, like, whoever I visit, I'll tell you... Completely that like I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I never once felt unsafe here Yeah, you get like a someone looking at you here and there, but it's like that everywhere in the world if I'm gonna be honest Like I know there's a diff there's a difference between like men traveling on their own and women traveling on their own But even for women, I think it's completely safe here as well everyone looks friendly and everyone's like willing to talk to you. I guess there's a language barrier, but especially if you find people like around your age, everyone's very, very nice and they smile. You know, you have a few bad apples here and there, but it's like that everywhere. It's a cute little shop here. Yeah, I just want to be completely honest with you guys. If you have any questions about pricing or where I'm staying or anything, just comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of something. Yeah, I just want to share with you guys. If you've gotten this far, then you are a true Luke's Vlogs supporter and I appreciate you. And I want to just make good content and make you guys happy water just landed on my arm and I just want to be honest and share the world and show you my experiences with it as well as you know this the channel my channel is really it's so it's just dangerous walking and vlogging in the, in the streets but all I really want to do is to be able to... My channel is about my life, you know? My house, my car that I work on, my comedy, my traveling experiences. I get that there's no real niche to it, but... It's just me. It's what I want to post. I don't really want to conform to a certain genre, sorry, a certain niche, because others want me to. Yeah, sure, if something does good, I'll post more about it. But if I'm not fulfilled with it, and I don't find pleasure, I probably won't do it. Even if it can make me, I don't know, lots of money. But I'm almost back in my place. Uh, I hope to see you guys soon. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.